when it comes for dry cleaning robots so we are the inventors of this technology so somewhere 2013 like we have invented this technology and so far over the years like from 2013 to 2023 so like from generation 1 to like right now what we are offering is generation 6 so i am saying that this generation 6 is a bunch of experiences or learning what we have over the years again like when it comes for ar cs like we are world's largest company who manufacture supply and operate these robots my robots are completely dry cleaning robots it helps like uh, if you ask me on a global level so almost 22 million gallons of water we are saving almost on every day by using these dry cleaning robots another thing like these dry cleaning robots helps the power plants to maximize its efficiency means by keeping the modules clean it will maximize the generation so that's how like your return on investment and these things will be more if we talk about this indian context or that indian market we all know that government of india and our honorable prime minister mr narendra modi we all have a very ambitious target for next 5 years like we are planning to add almost 50 gigawatt of capacity every year so next next 5 years what we are seeing that will be we are going to add another 250 gigawatt of this renewable energy to like india's portfolio so that's how like india is going to be a leader into this market so to support this vision and to support this mission like we have also augmented our manufacturing capacity so this year like february 2023 we have added one more manufacturing facility with a capacity of 10 gigawatt every year further like we have plans to set up the manufacturing facility under make in india program in india of course like this will be uh, boost the confidence among my clients in terms of availability for spares this will bring lots of employment to the country both direct and indirect and of course like it will be uh, uh, means good support to government mission and vision towards this net zero what we are saying that uh, by 2030 we have to go net zero means we have to go for all renewable power plants right so my generation 6 robot if you ask me so the first usp is like the transmission which is very important so the transmission is now gear based transmission when it is gear based transmission means it is more efficient it needs less maintenance so it is like more reliable system that is one thing because these robots have to perform for 25 to 30 years so this is first change then second change if you ask me this robot like the usp if you ask me the robot has a flexible or torsional design means it is like a four wheel drive system now so it will have a higher like uh, climbing capacity then third thing like the skeleton of this robot is now all aluminium so like we are saying that this robot is designed for extreme conditions means no corrosion no rusting no such phenomenon should be there then fourth thing of course like the body of this robot uh, the shape of this robot so this is a aerodynamic design what we say so this will perform much better against even the high winds so these are the four major usps what we have right so like manual cleaning people uh, for the manual cleaning first thing is it possible only with the help of labor and with the help of water right we all know that water is very scarce so these solar plants are like very Uh, means uh, popular in the areas like Rajasthan, Middle East, where the water is a big scarcity, right? So we all know that save water, save life. So first thing, like if you ask me about that cost part, of course, I cannot give you a right number. Reason being, water is precious to me. 
it doesn't have like i cannot compare because water is life so comparing the cost won't be a right thing to me then of course like this is highly reliable of course in bigger plants you cannot like mobilize so much of manpower so much of water right so it is bringing the water and manpower would be a difficult thing so this is the only possible solution to maintain the large size plants yes so this robot i am saying that this is world's most advanced intelligent robot when i am saying intelligent so my this robot is completely ai based robot so no human interference are required so this all robot these all robots let's say in a plant we am i am giving 1000 or 5000 robot so no human control is required so these all robots can be remote um, operated remotely with the help of escada so there are different different weather stations there are different communication networks with the help of that all these robots will be connected to a control room from where we can in one click you can give a command start and all the robot will start in one go my major clients are like adani renew mahindra reliance you name any big developer so they yeah so they are like india also installation wise we are number 1 we have a operating capacity of more than 6 gigawatt in india so it covers almost every big developer or client so as i mentioned you before like future plans is to support the government mission or vision for this net zero we are planning to set up a factory in india also to create the employment to support the existing plant to support the government vision so uh, in the time to come like we are we are by i think you can say 2024 will be like our this uh, indian operation or indian factory would go live so you are right we are not an exception so we are also little affected with this so of course i request government to be little more liberal be more flexible be more supportive because like uh, this is all going to be a team work where you need whole hearted support from all stakeholders be it a investor or be it a oem or any other company right so to to develop this ecosystem we need support from the government all stakeholders needs the support from the government of course the support it comes in terms of duties lesser duties or i say that exemption would be the best thing because like if we have to reach this net zero by 2030 we need exceptional support from the government